sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? Oh no, I just realized what's going on here. So I made a video talking about how I was told in the past that on my way to the fifth dimension, my time in the fourth dimension would be short. This is because the fourth dimension is corrupted. I just now realized what that means for those in my past who reached me and told me about the fifth dimension. They have disappeared from reality in all honesty. I can't contact them anymore. And in all honesty, it's fine. I understand now. They played their part in my life and they moved on to the next reality and now it's going to be my turn soon and I just got to leave as much as I can. I just hope that through my perspective, nothing will change, if that makes sense to you guys. Because time is a 4D concept that stitches 3D moments together and eventually I will stop resonating with certain realities much like those people stop resonating with my reality. So I guess the whole point of this channel, if for some reason I ever stop making videos, it is probably because I'm no longer here in all honesty and these videos will be my relics. So, in all honesty, if you find these videos, they're meant for you, and if you can figure out what I am trying to say through them, I call them fourth dimensional concepts, but for you, they may be ideas, they may be illusions. Terrence McKenna and Alan Watts can help you here. I do not know everything. That's the most amazing part about this experience. Every day is a learning experience, man. And every day you just keep growing, but... If what I'm being shown right now is true, then I really don't have much time left here and I really need to get all of this out, I guess. So whoever this reaches, good luck on your journey. You have got this. I believe in you. You will have so much tests coming ahead. And what I mean by tests is your heart and soul will be tried and you will make choices that dictate your reality. I have experienced so much more that I don't feel called to share because I feel like that would ruin your guys' experience. One would assume what I'm sharing now would ruin an experience, but no, I'm just scratching the tip of the iceberg. Your journeys will have so much to offer you guys, no matter what you guys do. Some people take decades to figure this out. I was lucky and managed to figure it out by 25. This was through the help of plant tools by purging my vessel of the demons, foreign consciousness for three whole years. The fourth year was spent, well, figuring things out and getting these videos out to you guys. My time is probably going to be shorter than I expected, and that's probably why I've been getting these calls, like not to worry so much about all this fiscal problems and all that crap because they are all 3D problems and where I'm going. Ugh. We have bigger fish to fry. So, just remember that everything bad that's happening is only happening because you are going on the right path. You are making progress and the enemy wants you to fall. The enemy wants to drag you down through the thoughts they implant in your head. They will do they're worse. They will try their hardest to bring you down, but I can tell you this now. You have the power to banish them. You have the power to beat them. They wouldn't be attacking you so hard if they weren't so afraid of you. If you catch my drift, you are more powerful than you have been led to believe. All you have to do is choose to perceive. <sighs> Man, I'm really excited for you guys, and I hope that... I am there to experience a version of all of your stories because in all honesty, my story was amazing and oh man, I just want to know what you guys decide to do because while I do push for Jesus Christ, I will be honest here because I am allowed to say this now because I figured out what's going to happen to me soon. 
basically Jesus Christ is there for those who cannot get their own, well, who cannot return to their initial consciousness. This is the consciousness that they were born with. Consciousness is a replacement word for Holy Spirit. Everyone is, well, not everyone. Some people are born with an unholy spirit. But those of the Lord are born with the Holy Spirit. And that would be your initial consciousness. Jesus Christ is for those who cannot find their initial consciousness or who were unholy like entities from birth. You can give up your consciousness which resides in your brain and ask for Jesus Christ to come into you. When Jesus Christ is in your brain, he will implant thoughts that guide you to him in this resonance game. The trick is that you have to realize that you are not your consciousness, you are your soul. The soul is stored in the heart. Consciousness, spirit, that is stored in the brain. So you have to realize that the thoughts implanted into your mind are not you. You have to figure out which thoughts serve you in the grand scheme of things. Do you want a physical 3D existence or do you want more? You, the human, get to decide. So if your consciousness isn't serving you, then banish it and figure out what you got to do. Find a new one. Find the one that you were born with or find Jesus Christ. I myself, though, have to be honest and say that I'm still working with my initial consciousness. And that's all that I really can say. So you guys got to do what you got to do. I'm just letting you guys know how Jesus Christ works because if we are nearing the end, then... You guys need the truth, no matter the cost, and... Well, the cost would be giving up whatever consciousness you are currently in tune with. Would you be truly willing to give up the humanly or the worldly desires? Because in all honesty, that's not you, the soul. That is a dark consciousness implanting thoughts. Are you willing to give up those thoughts for Jesus Christ? It's a simple yes or no question. You guys got to make this decision for yourself. But, as I said before, you don't need Jesus Christ for this. He does not need your belief. The trick with Jesus Christ is that he transcends all 4D concepts. So, belief is a concept that he is above. He died for your soul already. So, guess what? Your soul is paid for in blood and you get to make it out of this if you want to. You can do it through Jesus Christ. You can do it yourself. But just know that Jesus Christ already paid for your soul and blood, so that's the only reason why you're able to do this by yourself now. So even when you do it by yourself, when you get up there and you meet Jesus, you're going to be like, holy shit, I was able to do this because of you, holy crap. And then you'll side with him. That's what, what's it called, Bob Marley did. That's why he kept singing songs about the Messiah and Jesus Christ. Uh, so beautiful, man. Everything makes sense. <sighs> Oh well, that was a bit of a ramble, but I guess the gist of this is you guys have got this, but you guys have got to believe that you've got this. <sighs> Hope you guys have a good one, and remember to stay safe out there. Hey, I can taste you. Want to know what you're tasting?